With the release of iOS 16, Apple now lets you add widgets to your lock screen. These can be from Apple or other developers. So I found an app that lets you add any app or URL scheme as a widget, so you can add that to your lock screen. So if this works for you, please leave a like and subscribe, and let's start the video. The app we're going to be using is called Lock Launcher. I'll leave a link in the description if you can't find it. But once you got to that, just click on the download button. For me, it's a cloud because I already downloaded it. I just deleted it. And then after it installs, just click on open. When you first open the app, you'll see a page like this. And to set up your first widget, just click on setup under widget 1. Now there's multiple ways to select your app, but the easiest one is just to click here. And then search for your app in the top search bar. If your app is not there, which it most likely will be, you can click on custom all the way at the right and you can select its URL scheme. So basically the URL scheme is the URL that leads you to the app. So for YouTube, it'll be something like YouTube colon slash slash. If you go to Safari and then put that URL in and click enter, it will say, do you want to open in YouTube? Now for other apps, it can be different than the app name, but search it up and see what the URL scheme of your app is. So for me, I'm just going to put YouTube colon slash slash. And for YouTube's URL scheme, if you put a name at the end of the URL, whenever you open the app or open that URL, it will take you to that YouTube channel. So I'm going to put my channel name and then click save. But we're not done yet. You see the icon over there? It's like a charging icon. You wouldn't really want that as the logo for your app. So if you want to change that, you can go back into the settings and then choose any icon. You can upload a file too. So now I've selected what icon I want to use for this app. So just to make sure, I'm going to click on the refresh button at the top right so it actually saves. And then we're going to go back to our home screen. Now swipe down to get to your lock screen, and then hold down, and then click customize. Then add widgets over here. Then scroll down and find lock launcher. Now once you found that, just click on it. And then you should see widget 1, and it'll show the same icon. Now once you're done with that, click on done at the top right, and then click save as wallpaper pair. If you don't save it, it won't work. Now this is fully set up, but I'm going to set up another icon. So over here, just click on setup, and then choose action, and I'm going to search for Instagram. Now it popped up here, I'm just going to keep the icon as the same thing, and I'm also going to use the round background because I think it looks better. Then click on save and go back to the lock screen and hold down. Click customize again. Then add a new widget. Scroll down until you see lock launcher. Then you can scroll to the right and select widget number 2. Now once you've added it there you can save it again. And now you have two app icons on your lock screen. And just to test it out, whenever I click on it, it will take me to this app. And it takes me directly to my channel. Once you click on the widget for the first time, you might see something like this. This only happens once, and if you click open, then it won't show up ever again. So all of this is seamless, and you won't really see the app being opened up to open to this app. But anyways, this is a really good app, and the only limitations I see is that you can only add two lock widgets. If you want to add like up to eight, there's like a $1 purchase. But anyways, that is how you set up apps on your lock screen. If this video worked for you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another video like this one.